This is Zimzak, and in this video we are looking at logarithms and curve fitting. So by using logs you can convert the relationship into a linear, which is a straight line one. That's from a non-linear relationship. And there are two main types of non-linear relationships. And one of them is y is equal to ax to the power of n. And the other one is y is equal to kb to the power of x. So let's see how to convert these non-linear relationships into a linear relationship, which means a straight line and is easier to plot on a graph. So by doing this, what we're going to do is we're going to, first of all, use some logs. So we're going to say that this is equal to y is equal to log of ax to the n. And then we're going to start using the laws of logarithms. If you don't know about this, then watch my first video on logs, which was all about the laws of logarithms. And in order to do this, then we're going to put the n to the front. So therefore, y is equal to n log of ax. And then this can be equal to when things are times together. That's also them added together. So therefore, y is equal to n log x plus log a. And later we'll see this is significant, but it is similar to the um, y is equal to mx plus c. So therefore we can work out what a and n are when we start looking at the gradients and all of that of a line. So the next one is very similar. Again, we're going to uh, put logs in front of it. So y is equal to log kb to the power of x. And again, we can put the x to the front, the front this time instead of the n because of that, the third logarithm rule, which is the power one. So x log uh, kb. And then finally, we're just going to rearrange this by adding them. So that makes x log b. plus log k, which can equally be used when we're looking at the y is equal to mx plus c. And that is what we will look at next. So here we have a question and this shows a table and then it says that y is equal to ax to the power of n and we have to find a um, and n. And basically this is a table which is non-linear and we have to make it linear. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to log all of these um, data points in this uh, table. So if we go through this then we can write below it what they all are. And if you log 2 then you get 0.3. And remember, it's going to be log to the base 10, um, as that is the common for um, that is the common thing for logs. Uh, then it'll be 0 0.477, then 0 0.6, then 0 0.7, and 0 0.78. And then if we do the same for y and we're logging all the points, then we'll get 1.23. We're going to get 1 1.6, 1.87, 2.07, and then 2.24. And this is where it gets slightly more difficult here, as now we need to find out the gradient in each of them. So to do the gradient, we're going to do the change in y, and that's, that sign says delta, so that's change in, over delta x of a change in x. That's just some simple calculation there, and we're going to get 1.001 over 0.478. And that is equal to 2.1. 
So we know now that our gradient is 2.1. But if we compare now both um, of the y equals mx plus c now to our y is equal to n log x plus log a, which is the thing that we derived earlier uh, in the pr first half of this video, then we'll get y is equal to 2.1x plus c. And we have to work out c in a minute is going to be equal to y is equal to n log x plus log a. And if you forgot how to do that, just refresh yourself by watching the first half of this video. But then now we know already what n is, as we can say that n is going to be 2.1. So there we are, we have n, as n is just going to be this gradient. But now it's slightly harder for uh, what a is going to be, as you have to work out what c is, um, and then log a is going to be equal to c. So to find c, we'll just sub back in one of these points, which we've worked out here, into the y equals mx plus c. So if we just sub in the first one there, so we have 1.23 which is the y is equal to 2.1 times by 0.3 plus c. And if you do some substitution and some rearranging, then you get c is equal to 0.6. So therefore, we know that that is also equal to log a. So now we have log a is equal to 0 0.6, therefore a will be equal to 10 to the power of 0 0.6, which is equal to 3.98. So now we have n, which is 2.1, and we have um, a which is 3.98. So what we can do is we can simply just put it back into the a, x, the n. So 3.98x to the 2.1. And that is our final answer. So the final question comes from when it is y is equal to k b to the power of x. And this is slightly different because we don't need to log x. Instead, we just need to log y. So the working underneath will just be uh, y logged. And this would then go to 0.914. And that is the uh, 8.2 being logged. Uh, then 9.2 logged goes to 0.96. Uh, 10.4 log goes to 1.017. Then 11.6 log goes to 1.06. Then finally 13.1 log goes to 1.117. And again, we're going to be doing the change in y over the change in x to find the gradient. And this is 0 0.203 over 4 over 0 0.4. And that is equal to 0 0.5075. Now, the slightly different thing with this to the previous one is we do end up having to work a little bit more with logs as we're going to write both of them down again. So the y is equal to mx plus c. So then we have 0.5075x plus c. And then the other one, again, is going to be y is equal to x log b. plus log k. 
So we know that log k is going to be equal to c, but then instead of just using the gradient to find out what b is, b log b is actually going to be equal to 0 0.5075. So log b is equal to 0 0.5075. Which means that by using logs, 10 to the power of 0.5075 is equal to 3.2. So we find out what b is, and now we're just going to use the same method as before to find out what um, log k is. So by putting in, subbing in uh, y's, and then we've got the y as 0.194, 0.914. There, so we're using the newly found y and then the newly found x, but x just stays the same, uh, so therefore 0 0.2 times by 0 0.5075 plus c. We do that, and then we can find out that c is equal to 0.8125 so therefore uh, log k is equal to 0.8125 so k will be equal to 10 to the 0.8125 so k is equal to 6.5 Then if you want to rewrite this at the end, you can say that it can be 6.5, and this is using this form here, so k b to the x times by 3.2 to the x. So this is curve fitting. It's very useful for things like a uh, line of best fits if you want that to be straight or just uh, converting a nonlinear relationship into a linear relationship. So thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.